The casting material called alginate is mixed and baby's foot immersed in a container full of it. To share a professional tip, smearing some of the alginate directly onto the model skin helps achieve a more perfect impression. It also acclimatises baby to the slightly cool temperature into which his foot is about to be plunged. Baby has a couple of minutes to get used to this new experience, after which time the blancmange type substance begins to set. A transparent container is useful to check that no part of the model's foot is touching the sides. The alginate must completely surround the entire foot. Some people use plastic bags for the alginate, but although my use of a cut-off milk carton uses more material, I feel it allows my model more scope to manoeuvre into their own individual pose and it gives me a more solid base to work with. At this stage, I want to take the opportunity to reassure parents that the alginate is completely safe and is used by dentists to take dental impressions. Once the alginate has fully set, it is still flexible enough to allow the model's foot to be wriggled free from the mould. A negative impression, the first stage of the casting process, is now complete. The next stage is to make a positive mould using a special hard plaster. This is carried out in situ so that clients can see what the finished product will look like, whether a solid bronze freestanding pair of feet or, as in this case, a framed plaster set. If you are making your own frame set, don't pour the plaster right up to the ankle as you'll have a lot of sanding down to do to get your cast shallow enough to fit the depth of the box frame. It is important to add the plaster little by little, tipping it to fill the toes first and swirling it around to avoid air bubbles which can spoil the finished cast. Small air bubbles can be filled in, however, using a small amount of newly mixed plaster or a decorator's filler like Tetrion. I really can't emphasise enough the importance of being thorough in pouring the plaster as this is where, in my opinion, home casting kits fail. When the plaster is dry, usually 20 to 30 minutes, the alginate can be stripped away to reveal the plaster positive. If doing this yourself, use a dinner knife or similar and carefully cut through the alginate, making sure the knife doesn't touch the plaster, but rather that you cut and then pull the alginate away. Be especially attentive around the delicate toe area, chipping away little by little as they are easily snapped off. Again, however, this can be rectified by carefully sticking your toes back on with superglue, araldite or similar.